when you first log into ZipWP, you're going to see an updated UI. So let's go ahead and log in. Now, I already have an account, so if you want an account for ZipWP, I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. So let's go ahead and create a brand new website. So if I come over here, you're going to notice that we have two options to either create a complete website or a blank website. But for now, we're going to focus on blank website. So this is what I was talking about. So we have now the ability to go in and add our site title. So I can just go in and say, let's say DV5. And over here now, what's really cool is we can go in and give this a subdomain. Now before, ZipWP used to give you this random names for your domain. And sometimes it doesn't look very professional, especially if you're working with clients and you want them to see your work. So I'm going to call this SiteCrafter. So now it's going to be SiteCrafter ZipWP extension. Okay. Now there's also another option here, but we're not going to go ahead and take a look at that yet. So if you click on this drop down, you can also add a custom domain. But for now, let's just work with what we have here. In fact, I spelled this wrong. Okay, great. So over here now we have the site of validity. Now this is also very important because let's say you're just working on a quick website. Maybe you want to do a quick demo. You can set it to one day. You can set it to 15 days. 30 days or permanent. So in this case, I'm going to set mine to permanent since I'm going to be using this a while. Now I can go ahead and click on create website. And now my website is going to be created super fast. So now that my website is up and running, I can now go in and click on one click login. And I want to show you now the URL. And this is really cool. Now you can see on the top here, it now says sitecrafter.zipwp.site. So that's a bit more professional. If you're working with the client, at least they can see that this is a temporary domain and it also has their brand name, which is really, really cool. So at this stage now, you can go ahead and customize this. I mean, you can go in and clean up your desktop. Now at this stage, you can start adding all your software. Let's say, for example, this is going to be a DV theme installed here. I can just go in and click on themes and I can now install my DV theme. Click on upload, choose file. And by the way, it works with any theme. So you're not really stuck with DV. In this case, you can work with all these themes, even the ones that are shown here. We have Astra, Hello, Elementor and so on. So let's say now I'm ready to install. I can now go ahead and click on activate. So now with this activated, I can also go in and add all my plugins and I can just work on this as I would if I was working on pretty much any WordPress website. And just to show you that this is working, I'm now going to click on visit site on a new tab and you're going to notice now that we have our new site. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at the other option. So back over here, I'm going to create another one. So again, I'm going to click on create new blank website and on this drop down now you can see we have an option to add custom domain so it opens up a new tab here so what you need to do if you want to connect to your custom domain this is where you need to come over here to domain dns so you need to point your dns to to this so if i click here you can enter your root website so let's say in my case it's sitecrafter.com i can click on add so you can see here that and I like the way it has just picked it up because my domain here is registered with hover.com. So it has picked up the NS1 and NS2 records, which is fantastic. So now you need to copy these two and add them onto my record. So this is where I would go now to hover.com like that. And then I need to locate where my domain is. First of all, I need to log in. So I'm going to go into my control panel here and sign in. So my code here is 737900, confirm code. Okay, so now that I'm in my account, all I have to do is to locate SiteCrafter. And here it is, I'm gonna click on that. So what you need to do now is to click on name servers, click on edit, and you see how this has ns1.hover. If we come back over here, this is what we have, but this needs to be replaced with that. So I'm gonna copy that, and then we're gonna come over here to my name server, and then I'll just replace it like that. Go on and copy the other one like that and then I'll paste it. Okay, so now that I've pasted these two, all I need to do is to click on save name servers. And then once you've done that, this will propagate. It doesn't take really long. And then once that happens now, you are going to now verify the record. And here it says registrars can take up to 24 hours to process the name servers. So once you do that, you are now going to have your domain name 
connected now to zipwp which means sitecrafter.com will be now connected to the site that i'll be designing here in zipwp so that is a really 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 cool feature next let's take a look at another feature which i think is really awesome so now you can go ahead and install this chrome extension so if i come over here you can see i've already gone ahead and installed it i'm going to click here and now you can see it says welcome to zipwp so I have two options here to either start with AI or I can create a blank website. So in this case, I want to click a blank website. But before I go into that, I'd like to remind you that when you first initialize this, it needs to connect your account to ZipWP. So once it's done, I mean, it's only done once. So you can see here, I've already gone ahead and logged in automatically during the setup process. Okay, so now I can literally create a brand new site. In fact, let's just do something like this. So let's just go to Google so I can just show you how easy it is. So let's say I'm on any domain. I can just come over here to this little item here, click on that. And now I can click on create blank website. So now with that, notice what's happening. My site is instantly being created. So which means I don't necessarily have to go into ZipWP dashboard first. I can just create my website like this so fast. And if I need to visit my dashboard, this is where I can just click here to visit my dashboard so with this with this option here you don't even have you don't even need an account because your site here you can see it expires in 29 hours okay so you can start working on your site you know do whatever you need to do and then it'll just automatically expire but if you want to keep the website you come over here to your dashboard and this is where you can see here it says add a label. I can just go in here and call this a test site like that. And then over here, it's telling me the time to expire, which is 29, 29 hours. Okay. So I can either now keep that or I can continue using it. Now over here on the actions, you can see everything works as fine. We have our domain suffix. We can clear the blueprint, login credentials and so on. So this is a quick way of just going in and creating a website test whatever you need to test and then if you want it to expire you can just let it expire if you want to keep it i mean you can keep it it's pretty much up to you so i think this is a really really cool feature especially if you are a freelance designer or an agency this is the best way because think about it if you are hosting all these temporary websites for your clients it is very difficult to do it on a server because there's going to be a lot of deleting or maintaining that needs to happen whereas with this system if you don't need the website you can just delete it and it's gone and if you want to show your client the progress, you can just send them a link. And like I said, now you can send a brandable link, which is really, really cool. All right. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. So go ahead and check it out.